Hey everyone, Scott from Drive and Review. I'd like to welcome you to episode one of my Mustang vlog. My uh, This is primarily for my 1996 Ford Mustang GT. Um, the intention for these, for these vlogs, just so you know, um, this is primarily for me. It's just basically like a, like a car diary of sorts. Just to get, document my thoughts and my feelings on what's, what's going on with this car, what my plans are, etc. Um, I don't really think this is going to be of much value to anybody else, but hey, you know, it, it, anybody who uh, might be interested in a mid-90s Mustang to, to live with or to play with, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe there's something good you can pull out of this, but anyway, um, so yeah, so about maybe uh, twice a month, once a month, once a week, I don't know, uh, I'm going to be doing updates on, on this car talking about what's going on with it, problems, issues, uh, future plans, etc. And this, this represents episode number one. So yeah, um, just a, since this is episode one, I just want to give you a, a quick background on this car. I've had this car for three years now. I picked it up in 2012, the summer of 2012, just as a, uh, a secondary car. Uh, I've, I've always had fun cars, uh, somewhat fun cars, my entire life. Uh, I got married in 2010. We had to be a little bit practical, so I had to sell my 350Z that I had at the time. Traded that in on a Honda Fit, and for two years I've just been I've been jonesing for a, a fun car. So just uh, I decided to spend just a few thousand dollars on a on something, and uh, this is what I ended up with. It's a, it's a 96 Ford Mustang GT V8 five-speed. Um, great shape for its year. I really can't complain. The it's got issues. The the paint is a little bit faded. Actually a lot faded. The car sits outside all day long mostly. So here in Southern California that means the paint's fading fast. Um, AC doesn't work anymore. Hopefully it just needs a, a recharge, but we'll see. You know, it could uh, need a complete complete overhaul and that's not gonna be cheap. Driver's seat, power seat will not go backwards, but it'll go forwards. So I'm actually sitting a little bit more far forwards than I prefer, which is a little bit in, uh, inconvenient. And also, the tires are in dire need of replacement. Uh, let me cut to a, uh, an image of the, uh, the front tire that I just took this morning. You can see that it's, it's pretty well worn out. So, Sometime within the next few weeks, the next month or so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order a set of Bridgestone RE11s to put on this car. Probably overkill, yes, but hey, I think they look cool. They uh, seem to get pretty good reviews, so what the heck. It's got cheap Cooper tires on it now. I mean, it just basically just cheapos. They do all right, but I mean, this car doesn't handle well anyway, so it's not like I can say, oh, yeah, it makes the car stick. I really have no idea. I mean, this car... It handles like an old Crown Victoria taxi cab. It sits pretty high and loose on its on the suspension. So, yeah, I I love this car. I mean, for what it is, it's a 20 year old car. It's got issues. You know what? It's fun. Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn! This dude in front of me just. Uh, pulled way out in front of me. He uh, was going to commit to a turning left and then he uh, jumped right back out into traffic. Deep behind me almost hit me. Would have been funny to get that on camera. Not funny, but you know what I mean. Anyway, what was I saying? So yeah, this car's got issues, uh, but I like it. It's fun. It's uh, something. It's something better than the uh, the fit in terms of uh, you know, driving a car that has a little bit of soul and some character. This car's certainly got a lot of character. It speaks a lot too. A lot of rattles, and creaks, and moans. And I don't know if you can hear it through the microphone, but yeah, every little piece and part of this car is rattling like crazy. So in terms 
the future plans. I don't know. I, I'm toying with the idea of getting a new car. Um, the problem is, is I've always been kind of cheap, kind of a tightwad when it comes to money. It's, it's just hard to justify spending a lot of money on a car, primarily because I don't have a garage to keep it in. Look at that shake through the steering wheels and hit the brakes. The rotors need to be turn, turned as well, or new rotors or something. I gotta have it looked at. Anyway, so I don't have a garage to keep a car in. I've got a carport for the fit. The fit goes in there. I mean, it's the nicer, newer car, so by default, that's where it that goes. But my secondary car, my fun car, it's got to sit outside. Uh, so yeah, it's I, I really don't want to spend a lot of money on a car that's just going to get you know blasted by the sun here in, in San Diego. And, you know, having everyone uh, you know just being exposed, everyone can come by and just mess with it. It's one thing I've learned about having nice cars and uh, parking them outside is people are eventually going to mess with it. I mean, they'll throw stuff on it, they'll kick it, they'll, they'll do all kinds of stuff. So that's another nice thing about this car is that it's, it's so beat up. It's just so worn out. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, from 10 feet away, it looks like a nice car, but you get right up on it and yeah, it's, <laughs> she's worn, but people don't mess with it. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to... It's not like I think of this car as like a pristine garage queen or anything. So people stay away, and I, I appreciate that. And that's, that's something nice about having an older car. I mean, it's... These, these mid-90s Mustangs, these SN95s, are not so desirable uh, compared to, like, the Fox bodies or anything older than that. So, you know, it... it Kind of, it tends to, to lay low and stay out of the way and stay out of the, uh, the limelight. In terms of what I would want to get to replace this, uh, for the money that I have or that I want to spend, which is probably under $10,000, I mean, that pretty much limits me to maybe uh, like a, an 04 or older Mustang, just something a little bit newer. Um, I've been thinking about the idea of getting a Miata just to tool around in. I just, I mean, a Miata represents everything that I love in the car except for the power. If the Miata had a lot of power, I mean, that would be pretty much at the top of my list of a nice car to have. It's just small, nimble. I can imagine, I've never driven one. I imagine it'd be fun as hell to drive. Um, I have to get the hard top. I'm not a convertible guy. I hate convertibles. I just never really got into it. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, I'd like to get a Miata just to, just to try it. You know, six months, just to say I did it. Just to, just to get to know what the car is all about. Just to see what it's, what, what it's like to live with. But, and then, uh, actually, there's an S2K right there that I'm looking at. Um, S2Ks would be... That might be kind of fun. I mean, I don't know if I could get, uh, I don't know what I can get for 10K out of a, uh, for a S2K. Probably something a little bit worn, a little bit beat. Uh, but that might be something else to be, uh, you know, it'd be fun to tool around in for a little bit. But my love, my love is V8. I love V8. I love the torque. I love that power. Like this Mustang, it's, it sounds mean. It sounds awesome. It's completely stock. But it sounds mean. It sounds great, and it's not fast, but that's okay. It just, it's, what it, what it does is, it just, it sounds like it's doing a lot, and I love that. But, you know, it does, the car doesn't have to be fast. It just has to have a lot of soul, and that sound is part of its soul. And I, that's one of the things I like about this Mustang. So... Yeah, so if I go the Miata route or S2K, that'd be giving up that V8, which I really don't want to do. But I guess if, even if I just hold it for six months, that'd be okay. But anyway, I'm rambling. Other ideas, uh, like an E36 M3 would be kind of fun to have. But then again, for 10K, I'm not going to get much of a car. It's probably going to be a well-worn BMW, and well-worn BMWs are 
maybe not something I want to deal with, with the, the cost of maintenance and parts. Compare that to this Mustang, parts are plentiful and cheap. Anybody can work on this car. So, but it's a 96. Next year, this car is going to be 20 years old. Do I really want, do I really want to be driving around in a 20 year old car? I mean, it's, it's got a lot of issues. It's drying out. It's like all the hinges, all the wiring. It's getting pretty dry and crispy. And everything at this moment runs and works really well. So, but it's not going to last forever. So I got to really think about, got to think about doing something different. Even if it's a slightly newer Mustang, that'd be kind of cool. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick update on, uh, or a quick introduction, I should say, on, on this Mustang and uh, what I plan to be um, talking about. Uh, so again, look, look for these updates probably twice a month, once a month, just whenever, whenever I feel like talking about this car um, and I'll let you know what's going on. So, all right, peace out.